Good morning, happy Sunday. We are up and I am making breakfast. I'm making some scrambled eggs here. I'm getting ready to put on the stove and I just made the girls some toast and pancakes. Natalie had her toast and Isabella is having a pancake. She's still over here eating. And I'm just gonna make some eggs real quick and then start cleaning up from breakfast. I like to leave a mug here on the Keurig just for some decorations. I'm gonna put my brilliant mug on there. I used my coffee one this morning. And I think that this is about ready to put the eggs on. So I'm just going to make some scrambled eggs for everyone. It's also Happy Father's Day today. Dan's outside messing with the pool again. And uh, it's Father's Day, so we're talking about going to see The Incredibles today. I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go check out Dad. Mm. Oh, um, you might want to cover your ears. These doors have alarms. Nope. Oh. It's off right now. <laughs> It's an off mode. Yes. Never mind. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go tell him Happy Father's Day. <laughs> he lets me go out barefoot. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, check the belt that, that we only have one of. He, he, my sister can't wear a belt today. You ha is that from the Atlanta dress? All right, hold on, I gotta pour these eggs in. Are you wearing a belt because daddy wears a belt? No. Cause, cause it's a real belt. Yeah. Yummy eggs. Do you want some? I have extras. I want one piece. All right. I want that one. All right, well come here, I'll put it on your plate for you. I'm gonna work on getting my makeup and hair done. So I've got the top part of my hair clipped up because I do the bottom part first. I need use some of my Tarte concealer. I've already got my primer on. But I like using the stick concealer for the areas where I just like normally have redness. And then I have been liking the shape tape, but I pretty much just use that underneath my eyes because it blends in really well underneath there. Just a little bit will do it. So then I'm just going to blend all that in and put the rest of my makeup on. But Tarte is definitely one of my favorite makeup brands right now. And it seems to be about the longest lasting that I can find as well. Just a little bit of this Laura Mercier leftover, so I'm just using like a little dab to blend the colors together. But then I'm using this light sand Tarte Amazonian clay foundation. I've been using this for work because it says it's a 12 hour makeup and it stays on pretty good amount of time. I don't know if it stays on 12 hours, but um, I probably need to try to find a Tarte primer again. My absolute favorite primer used to be from Tarte and then they discontinued it, of course. Um, but I need to try the cream one and see if it works even better. But right now I've got this, which is very similar to that Tarte one. Every What's shoe up? that used to not fit me fits me now. Every single shoe that used to fit you fits, that did not fit you fits you now? Awesome. That means your feet grew. You and they're trying on shoes. But what matters is if it doesn't fall off when you're sitting. That's true. And, and none it, of those fall off when I'm sitting. It probably definitely but shouldn't fall still, off when you're they're sitting. They're still kind of hanging like a little dadder than they're supposed to, but that's not what matters. They have to not come off when they're sitting. Gotcha. Interlude by Natalie. So I've got all my face makeup on. I'm just going to start putting my eyeshadow on. I'm still using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palettes. It's great beachy colors. And then I use some Urban K colors for like my base and stuff like that, but it's just great everyday colors. So I'm gonna put my mascara on and then straighten my hair. So I've been using this Pacifica Aquarian Gaze. Um, this is a water resistant mascara and it's pretty good for a daily mascara. I mean, it doesn't do anything like, you know, like make your eyelashes look huge or anything, but it's just a great basic mascara just to darken up your lashes. So you can see it makes a little bit of a difference. It just makes it a little bit darker and lengthens the lashes a little bit, but it's not like, you know, like one of those super volume lash things or anything like that. So I'm going to take my straightener and straighten my hair. I guess it would probably help if I turn it on first. This is pretty much my daily routine, like how I get ready every single day. So that's why I really have to try to put a lot of moisture back in my hair and why it's really so dry because I do like heat it up a lot. So, but I, I don't like just naturally it just has like a little bit of a wave to it and so I don't leave it like naturally wave very often so I like to have it straight so that's my hair straightener I'm gonna go ahead and use this to get it straightened out and that is that for my hair and it will look like this for about 15 minutes and then when I walk outside it'll be like 
<laughs> because of the humidity, like the waves start coming out again. So really, honestly, I don't know why I spend so much time straightening it, but I just prefer like it has everything kind of going the same direction. But pretty much when I go outside in the humidity, it'll start getting wavy again. <laughs> so that is that. I'm going to go talk to the kids and see if they want to go see Incredibles today and then see what my husband is up for. We, you know, we've gone back and forth as far as like different reviews on it. We think it'd be okay. So we're going to see if the kids are up for it and then go find something to do. Natalie's doing much better today with her sinuses. The sinus medicine and Sudafed really helped. So we could be outside a little bit if we wanted to be outside, but we still can't swim in the pool because it just, it's got shocked on Friday night, I think. So it's going to take it like three days for the levels to go down back to where it's a regular level where we can swim. So I think we'll probably be able to swim by like Monday night. I'm going to go ahead and put my perfume on. I've been using Jo Malone Cologne the past couple, I think month or so. I actually just ordered another scent. And I have actually a couple scents because they had some sort of sale where I got orange bitters for free. And then I ordered the, I believe it was nectarine blossom and honey. So I got that because I like kind of like lighter sweet scents in the summer. Wild Bluebell is definitely one of my favorites. I've been wearing that lately. And then also this Blackberry and Bay is more of kind of a woodsy scent, like kind of a musky scent. So I'm going to use this a lot. I layer these two together. But then um, I'll probably get deeper scents to wear with this in the fall. So this is what I've been wearing a lot lately. And then I've got the nectar, Nectarine Blossom and Honey one on its way. And I'm planning on trying out that with the Bluebell. Okay, so we are not going to go see The Incredibles today because, duh, of course, it's sold out. So we were waiting to see. My mother-in-law hurt her knee on Friday. She's going to be okay, but she's got to go follow up the orthopedic on like this upcoming week. So we're waiting to see if she wanted to go, if she was, cause she could walk. So she can, so we're going to meet with her for lunch. So then we went to go get movie tickets because we needed five instead of four. And everything is sold out. Of course, it's Father's Day and the Incredibles movie just came out. So of course it's sold out. So we're not going to go see that today. We will either see it later this week or we'll see it when it comes on DVD. But we are going to meet up with her for lunch. So I'm going to go get myself ready. I just need to put on, I'm ready ready, but I just need to go put on a dress or some clothes that are not house clothes. And then get the kids ready, finish doing their hair. They, they've done their hair, but finished doing their hair. And then um, we are going to go around and meet them for lunch, I think, at Red Rock. So clothing-wise, I am wearing one of the long maxi dresses that I got from Discount Divas. And the best thing about these is that they have pockets. So it's uh, always fun because, like, when people at work say, like, I love your dress, the first thing that the girls usually say is, it has pockets so that's like some sort of like universal like female thing we are gonna run into super target and see if we can get my husband a disney shirt to give him as a gift so he can wear it on an upcoming disney trip we're gonna see what the girls pick out for him what'd you find so he's already got the i'm so fly shirt one for the disney trip oh that is kind of funny <laughs> you like that one isabella Let's see if they have a size. You like the Kuna Matata one? Yeah, that one would be good for that. This would then be uh, very Animal Kingdom appropriate. <laughs> so that one's a maybe. Okay, we are heading to Red Robin to go have lunch with my husband and his mom. And the girls picked out this Akuna Matata shirt for our upcoming Animal Kingdom trip. We were also going to get a shirt that said I am your father that had Darth Vader on it but they didn't have it in his size so we just got this one and they already got him a card that has a cute puppy on it so we're gonna take that to lunch with us. I'm gonna go into Costco real quick we actually we're go just party. yeah Isabel's gonna use the bathroom but we're gonna grab some more juice while we're here but we're really just oh, yeah. using the restroom. Well I think we kind of skipped around in time a little bit because I don't think I remember to film at Red Robin. We ate there we all had guacamole burgers and it was very good and the kids had kids meals and then we went and ran another errand and then on the way back I uh Isabella had to use the restroom and we were up by Costco or nearish to Costco so we stopped buying another thing of juice to put in the garage and some pirate's booty to put in the garage so I'm gonna get this inside and then get the stuff from Target inside. Okay so pretty good outing I stopped past TJ Maxx real quick and I actually found some large letter right now and I left some behind I didn't take it all um I ended up getting a plate that said celebrate that's technically for 4th of July 
but it's red it's in red writing so I could use it again for Christmas so I was like yes dual purpose that's what we like and then I went and picked up our click list stuff which I'll show in a separate video and then I stopped past Kohl's which is where I just got out of um, I did end up ordering those dresses that I shared from Loft and I think I may order a couple more and then someone else mentioned to check LL Bean They seem like they have some great basics and then at Kohl's I just got two sleeveless flyaway cardin cardigans. I really like those flyaway cardigans, but it's way too hot to um, Wear them although I do wear them sometimes to work because we're inside in the air conditioning but um, I like the look of the flyaway cardigan because it kind of helps pull things together sometimes. But I just don't want to be wearing like just a t-shirt or something like that. You can put a cardigan over it. It just kind of pulls it together. So I got a sleeveless cardigan, two of them actually, a black one and a gray one. So that way I can wear those when it's so hot down here. And they're like that really thin t-shirt material. I'll just go ahead and show you real quick because I'm sure I'm not going to remember when I get home. They're just like this really thin t-shirt material. I have some of the regular cardigans that are this like really like thin cottony t-shirt material. So I got this gray color. I also have like a three-fourths sleeve in this gray. And I actually have three-fourths sleeve in this black too, this t-shirt black. Um, because they're just really nice and light. They wash really well. And it was regular price $30 on sale for $14.99 and then I used a coupon so I got them for like $12 so that's like amazing price so um, they actually technically wash better than like the ones I got at Nordstrom too so that's a good deal um, I'm gonna head home and get our groceries together and start making dinner and I will share our groceries in a separate grocery haul I'm gonna share the Kroger click list haul real quick go put your eyes and dinner it is hot dogs. We are having hot dogs and bratwurst for dinner. So that's it for the end of our evening. I just finished folding my laundry and putting it away. The girls are in bed and I'm going to get ready to edit some videos for you guys to watch. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for following along and have a great day.